All right. Well, if you want to avoid that rain, maybe you can head on inside to do something fun. Why not check out Port Discovery? That's right. It is Labor Day weekend, of course, and we are down there hanging out this morning. It's a busy time for Children's Museum now, of course, with Labor Day activities, and it's a, the museum's first healthy first Saturday, which means fun for all ages. Yeah. Good morning, Greg May. He's uh, live. He's the performing arts manager. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And dinosaur wrangler. Dinosaur <laughs> wrangler. Greg, we were saying, you know, it's hard to tame a dinosaur. I mean, there's a, I think there's a movie called How to Train Your Dinosaur. Oh, or is that the dragon? Oh, yeah. Same thing. It might thing. be a dragon. Oh, yeah. same Dragons, thing. dinosaurs. You, figure, you, know, you can't teach an old, same family. <laughs> you can't teach an old dinosaur new tricks, and they're 65 million years old. <laughs> exactly. So, Greg, tell us about today, what's going yeah, on at Port Discovery. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, today is our Healthy First Saturday, our monthly celebration of, of uh, teaching uh, health and an active lifestyle through fun and playful ways. We've got youth yoga and, and Pam Minder, the kinder singer, she's doing a kinder fit program. Uh, and then that's just a part of our Labor Day celebration this weekend. Tomorrow we've got drop-in programs like uh, Tiny Tot Music Jam and Mother Goose on the Loose Early Literacy and Music Programs. And Monday we're adding in hands-on craft activities. Whoa, hold on. Hands-on craft activities. And it's just going to be a fun Labor Day weekend for everybody. <laughs> oh, you got to get that raptor under control over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Who He's knew they'd be so trouble, hard? He's a good boy. Oh wow! So now we're talking about a healthy Saturday, Greg. What uh, what in, is incorporated in the Healthy Saturday Initiative for the kids? Oh, excellent. Well, it's all about uh, learning about uh, an active lifestyle. Uh, in playful ways. Everything in Port Discovery is about learning in play, learning of, through play. And so we don't want to you know, tell them what to do. We want them to experience what to do, to get their hands into it, to get their minds into it, and to go home with, with more questions than they came in with to inspire that curiosity and that desire to learn more. Okay, and uh, you also, you're in the dinosaur exhibit. You have that going on as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is Dinosaurs Land of Fire and Ice. It's here through September 9th, so not a whole lot longer. Um, and it explores a whole bunch of dinosaurs, not just the, I mean, we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the, and the Triceratops that we've seen before, but like this guy behind me, the Edmontosaurus, they found him in Alaska, which is kind of cool because that's a very different climate than like the volcano, rainforest, Isla Nublar kind of thing that, that we're used to seeing with dinosaurs. You know, Alaska may have been a little bit different temperature, 65 million years ago, but it was, certainly wasn't a rainforest. So uh, we're learning new things every day, and we want the kids to come in and learn new things every day. So Greg, of course, we'll check back mm. with you in about 20 minutes. We'll talk more about what's happening this weekend. But website for those who may want to go on this misty Saturday morning and just kind of explore Port Discovery. Yeah, portdiscovery.org. And that's going to give you our upcoming hours uh, and, uh, and all the events that are going on. Well, Greg May, thank you very right. much. We'll check back in just a little bit. Thank you. What, does, keep, does your raptor have a name? His name? Yes, uh, Cheeseburgersaurus. <laughs> okay, Great. thank you, Greg. All right, so keep him under control.